When St. Louis hosted the Major League Baseball All-Star Game in 2009, Fox broadcaster and St. Louis native Joe Buck tried to impart onto a national audience that Missouri was more than, you know, that one place between New York and Los Angeles, and that St. Louis was more than just the most dangerous city in the country. He said there are always two questions, one St. Louis and Alaska another. First, what high school did you go to, followed by, did you watch the Cardinals game last night? Because in St. Louis, the Cardinals are their own form of religion. I was born in South St. Louis City and raised in a suburb just eight miles southwest of the city line. I grew up watching highlights of the great Stan the Man Musial, Bob Gibson, and the wizard Ozzie Smith, legends who will be remembered in the annals of Cardinals history long after the people themselves have died. I went to dozens of games at the old Bush Stadium, a sea of 60,000 people dressed in white and cardinal red. I was four rows outside of the center field gate at the new Bush Stadium when the Cardinals beat the Rangers in Game 7 of the World Series last October. If you saw me after the security guards opened the gates to let thousands more screaming and delirious Cardinals fans into the stadium, even long after the game was over, I probably would have randomly given you a hug, a slapstick grin on my face you wouldn't have been able to slap off. So you see, life is sports to me. My range of emotions is inexorably entwined with the success and failure of my favorite teams. Some of my friends are quick to point out how much they dislike the city of St. Louis. You know, those Chicago people who say pop instead of soda? I can't really say I disagree with them. Living in the same city for two decades can get old, I'll admit. But the one defense I constantly stick to when my hometown is questioned or ridiculed is how incredibly passionate St. Louis sports fans are. I'm biased, yes, but I doubt I'm wrong. Never have I seen 40,000 fans at Bush Stadium boo their beloved Cardinals like Los Angeles Angels fans booed Albert Pujols last Friday. In fact, I firmly believe there's a tenth circle of hell reserved for St. Louis fans who boo their sports teams, because Cardinals baseball is its own form of religion.